Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is uh, welcoming, engaging and training new employees. Um, so we can personalise messages to new users to introduce and welcome them to the new system. Um, some customers have recorded a video featuring um, the CEO or another senior stakeholder in the organisation to remind staff of the strategic importance of the new system and to reassure them of the support that's going to be available for them in the early days. Um, these videos can also be used to provide system overviews or an introduction to the functionality of specific process areas. Um, you can also ensure that employees complete required onboarding tasks using these personalised OGL task lists. Um, these can include reminders to complete off-system tasks such as um, collecting badges from security or on-system tasks like checking and updating their personal information. It can also include links to process guides for key tasks or to important policies and procedures. You can also help users to navigate within the system by prompting them to complete landing page or dashboard tours. And process guides normally cover end-to-end -end system transactions, but they can also be created to guide the user through a series of pages, explaining the page elements and how to access specific information or functionality. Um, additionally, any OGL item can contain a direct link out to LMS content to make sure that employees are fully trained before they utilise the system. Um, you can also make any or all of your training content available via the OGL widget menu, and you can embed links in specific Oracle pages to provide direct access to training at the point of need and in the context of the workflow. And the second area we're going to talk about is change management. So OGL can support ongoing business change management, assisting users by providing reminders about things like upcoming downtime, uh, news items and other important business deadlines. Uh, it can also support your Oracle quarterly updates. Um, so we can provide users with critical information about system updates and improvements. Um, these can be timed as either a warning that an update's about to happen and the implications for the system processes, or, um, or and you can also um, update these messages to advise when the new functionalities are actually gone live. Um, OGL can be used to alert users to new business processes or new system functionality uh, via prominent links to updated process guides or e-learning content. This can be communicated from within the system itself, so there's no need to send separate communications to potentially overloaded email boxes. Um, basic feedback is part of the standard process guide functionality and the tone of the graphics and questions can be personalised for your organisation. So that allows you to, to obtain insights into how the content is being received and potentially how it might be enhanced or improved as well. Um, the third area which we found it's uh, very useful in is Oracle implementation and go live support. Um, so OGL provides easy access to business process training for your project team during the implementation process, and that can be followed by um, additional in-system guidance via My Oracle support. This consists of guides um, designed by the My Oracle support team to support HCM and ERP specialists and application administrators as they work in the application on setup, um, maintenance and admin sort of tasks. You can utilise uh, messaging and news functionality to communicate important changes and updates uh, with the project team during implementation. These messages can be timed and targeted to specific audiences and they usually appear on the home page when a uh, user logs in, but they can actually be placed anywhere that they're required. Um, and the final point is um, at go live and during hypercare periods, critical messaging can be quickly delivered to users across the organization. Um, this can be used to direct them to relevant support and also to efficiently address any um, frequently asked questions. As with all or uh, Oracle guided learning content, these messages can be tailored according to user roles, locations and time. Uh, we also um, look at developing OGL to communicate business values and policies. Um, so um, 
we can use these to demonstrate to employees commitment to environmental, social and government initiatives across the business. The hints and tips can be designed to detect user input and provide tailored messaging aligning with the organisation values. And one example we've see, um, seen used is green icons, which provide information about environmental sustainability, such as carbon footprint reminders and prompts about, um, for example, think before you print. Um, another example is wellness icons to promote social responsibility initiatives um, by providing reminders to users about well-being support that's available to them. And finally, OGL can be used as a signpost to your organization's policy information via links in any message or tip um, or, um, or and or via a policy section in the help widget menu. So there's various ways that you can provide links throughout OGL to other information um, in the context of what the user's doing at that point in time. And finally, um, another important uh, sort of area is the process compliance and data quality. Um, so you can use OGL to support users by providing contextual tips and information during the completion of system processes. These hints and tips can be tailored according to business feedback on repeated points of failure. Um, users can also be directed to relevant policies, procedures or training materials, um, including embedded links to take them directly to that information. And finally, OGL can be used to ensure data accuracy by applying certain checks on data input. Um, for example, um, you can ensure that a field is populated with a numeric value of, of eight characters, like the example here in the screenshot. Um, you have also got the option to disable further fields or buttons on that page until the user enters data that satisfies the requirements. What we have done in terms of Oracle Guided Learning is built out certain elements uh, to create OGLI experiences. And, and some of the key areas that we see in the system usage is around uh, procurement, self-service purchasing, um, and around absence uh, management, and around expenses as well. You have a large amount of employees in these self-service areas that need support and um, you know we've built out experiences to cover those within um, our OGLI templates so um, hopefully that will help uh, customers who, who want to make the most out of, of OGL in a very uh, quick way.